Hi, this is Andrew Krug, the Global Community Manager for Niantic Labs, and you're listening to the Agent Academy Podcast. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy episode number 61, recorded on June 21st, 2019. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. I'm Agent Sully Belly. And don't shake your head at the wrong number there. It won't be there in the final thing. Um, I'm just impressed you remember to change the date because I updated this for Monday's episode and I was like, oh man, I did not change the date on that note. <laughs> and I looked, I'm like, oh, he did. 15, he did God, maybe 20 years of experience of saying the wrong date many, many times yeah. because of that exact reason. Not that we ever moved the day in the past, ever. We're, you know what? It's not, it's okay. We're flexible. We're like, able to like work that. with and go with the flow when things pop up. It's it's awesome, actually. Yeah, we're like a yoga studio. Totes. And I'm going to give some points to the people in the chat. Thanks, everybody, for joining us today. You get 10 whole points with nothing to do with them yet. Wahoo! We don't know what we're doing with them yet, but someday we're going to make up something amazing. We're still like working on what amazing thing that's going to be. It's going to be so amazing. <laughs> You're going to be so glad you have those live chat person points. You'd be like, man, I'm so glad I tuned in live for the yeah. show. And all, all of the people who are here now are going to be like, oh, I'd have been there anyway. And I got all this bonus <laughs> stuff. And that's why you get the bonus stuff. Because you would have been here anyway. That's right. You could see all the flubs and mistakes that will eventually go into the, the uh, reel. We'll have a reel where we'll just show all the... The It'll mistakes. be like, like all those twenty-minute shows. They're like four hours long, usually. Yeah. But. Yeah. But this one, who knows how long it's going to be? We're going to talk about ingress and Pride Month and achievements, updates. We might sneak in a little bit of Harry Potter Wizards Unite. What? The small chance of that. Mm-hmm. But first, I want to hear about this achievement you got this week. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I got my Platinum Translator achievement, so that's cool. Nice. I was, like, working on it, working on it, and being rude to people, and ignoring them while they tried to talk to me, and yelling at them when they tried to talk to me, because I was sitting there just, you know, cliffing my little heart out. Doing your, oh. your Harry Potter prep. Yeah, yeah, totally. So, uh, but it all worked out, and I got it. And so now, congrats. Dun, 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 I have my badge requirements for level 16. Nice. So I'll never be badge locked again. I would like to point out I am level 14. <laughs> 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 I hope to be level 15 by next week, by the next uh, episode. Um, I am only about 500,000 away. So oh, that's nice. not too bad. So and can, with double, I mean, we'll talk about it later, but with almost double AP this weekend, it's quite possible. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I just need a ton of AP to just sail straight through to 16. Because yeah. now I don't have to care about anything. Right? That's and true. Badges, I don't need no stinking badges anymore. <laughs> but do you have a plan for that? Like when you hit 15 and you see all that AP you need, do you have like a plan to like just not worry about it or? How do get? How do you? How are you going to get through it? Well, how did you get through it, sir? Uh, I cried. Yeah, I'm, I I made seems... a plan for my how to get to 16 by the next anniversary, and I think putting it into like, okay, I'm just going to get a million a month, and that'll be enough for bad. then, and then it's figure easy. out how I was going to do that. Yeah, I mean, in your area. It kept my mind off how much uh, it was going to take and how it was, like, you know, 
almost a year. I think, I think I'm going to take part of that um, idea. And, like, we kind of have this, like, weekly competition at work anyway, so I'll just focus on that. And so if I come in, you know, first, second, or third-ish in that group, I'll be... Uh, if things if numbers stay the same, I mean that's a minimum of two hundred fifty k a week. So yeah, it'd be similar. Yeah, you can do it. You do it already. Like kind of. You're like, oh yeah, I got uh, you know eight hundred thousand this week. What did I get last week? Let me. Let me uh, oh, I did. I did put it in. I did update the thing. The um, what you call it? The uh, AP. Race recursion that we had in la and as of Monday, you tore it up, sir. I, you got. Oh, I, I didn't really, up. did I? Yeah, you had half a million last week. Oh, okay. And Some of that I might did. have been from first Saturday. Like I don't know if I got um, a bump from that. Maybe you had almost six hundred thousand. You had five hundred seventy-five, uh, six hundred thirty-two, AP, and I had four hundred eighty so close but you beat me for the first time in a while right like yeah I like a lot. I'm gonna have to uh, wow. work hard this yeah. week to you had beat me since April 15th in AP and that That's week true. though you beat me by a million AP <laughs> there must have been like some sort of triple AP first Saturday anomaly <laughs> yeah there was a lot with that one right because I think that was yeah the double AP where I got almost half a million at the first Saturday. Oh, okay. So and then that would be yeah, yeah a massive amount. Be a, I need to do um, that again. Yeah, just do that all the time. Oh, yeah, because no this one deal. was supposed to be triple AP, I think. But mm -hmm. I only got uh, around 300,000. So maybe I haven't gotten it yet. I don't know. Hmm. We'll have to see. Hmm. We'll wait. I don't know. Oh. Uh... What else? What else? Let's see. Um, we have two new tadpoles at my work, my place of work. I going to um, ask you about one, huh? Uh, that's what I was going to ask you about. Is that uh, w did I meet one of those tadpoles? Yes. Okay. When you came up for the van event, it was his first day. Yeah. He uh, actually ended up hitting level eight in three and a half weeks. Oh, nice. So he's still going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still playing. And um, then our newest one, she's a level 40 pogo player. So she has some um, motivation to, you know, get to level 10. Because <laughs> she's right. like, yeah, I can make some stuff happen. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, uh, and she was almost seven after her first week of playing. Oh, that's great. It's insane. Because she... If you have that Pogo background, like, you know where everything is. Yeah. So it makes it so much easier. And, you know, you kind of get that whole dynamic of, of everything. And once, oh, the funny thing is, she's like, um, is there a politeness rule? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? She's like, well, in Pokemon Go, you look and make sure that the person has been in the, you know, the gym for at least eight hours before you kick them out. And that's like the politeness rule. I'm like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> if you see no blue, point. get rid of there's, it. There's no politeness rule. If it's blue, you can blow it up. She's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how are, how are they liking it? Like, especially the Pokemon um, Go player, is she like, oh, maybe I'll do this full time? I'm or do you not, think she'll stop at 10? You know, she's she's one of those coworkers. I, I kind of run into her like... Actually, our, our work never overlaps, so, like, I'm lucky if I see her once a week. Um, but, the you know, she seems to be enjoying it for a walk and, like, answers questions and stuff. And um, she said that helped. I don't know if I did because she really seems to know what she's doing, like, already. Really. <laughs> like, so I'm like, okay, just keep going because you're crazy leveling. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's it's part of her ritual already. From being a pogo player, like you know, her when she goes home, she they have their little family dinner and they pick up the kids and they go to the park. Yeah. So that's their evening for their family already. So. And if she's already forty there, she doesn't need to. She doesn't have that much to do. Levels. Yeah, so she was kind of yeah. Yeah. 
Well, that's good. It it keeps her, you know, out there with the people who aren't forty and just doing ingress instead. Yeah, so. and plus two, you don't have to play one or the other. You can flip between the two games. It's super super easy. Yeah, or all three. Or all three. Hmm, oh, well. What could you be talking about? Hmm. How? Hmm. You are weak, sir. It's just been busy. I'm still busy at work, so it's not a whole bunch uh, that I got done this week, and so you'll probably kill me on AP if I, I don't get out. But I did get a letter in the mail, and it was a really Ooh. cool letter from um, the community manager, Andrew Krug. I, was, I did the embedded reporter thing at the last anomaly and um so we got like a lanyard and, and like a badge there but apparently you get more stuff so he sent uh some swag and so i don't know if you can see this i got a patch oh neat and here's some really cool stuff I'm really excited about these i got a uh, red solo cup coin that is cool and this is like really did he give cool. you two red solo cup coins um, I didn't see one in there. I'll check the envelope again. All right. Um, but uh, I got uh, this coin. It's a, a POC coin. So it's like, oh, my God. Oh, did you hear it? It's like, it hey, did. Metal. That is substantial. But uh, it's so cool. I didn't. I was not expecting that. And so it's got like the Niantic symbol on the back. And then a uh, loadout card and uh, some Lawson's. So nice. Thank you, Mr. Krug. And... I hope those pictures in the live stream was... I hope you enjoyed it. And he did send us some information this week, but uh, it was for the show Monday, and it was going to be that uh, the myriad registrations were going to be coming out this week. Well, they're out. Uh, they we'll talk out. about that in the news. I love that the, the time we get like exclusive news, <laughs> uh, we're like, now nah, we're going to do a show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a bad day. I I was like leaving work and I I was just like, there's no way I can get like the badge done and the form done before the show. And and luckily you were like, no, that's fine. We can do it a different night. Didn't make yeah. me feel bad or anything. Uh, no, as long as you don't make me feel bad, that's fine. No, it's all good. We we got we got lives and I you know part of me tonight like before I left work because I actually left work late tonight too, but I was. I, you know, I sent you a thing like, mm, uh, so are we still on for the show? I know it's really busy with Harry Potter coming out and the double AP. I was like, man, that's some, that's a night. I, I kind of want to be out doing that, you know? I had no idea what you were talking about. Like, I thought you saw my Instagram. Oh, no. Because I posted on my Instagram. <laughs> I, okay, we'll go to lunch. And then at lunch, okay, I, I kind of told you the story, but kind of like other people didn't hear the story so um once a year me and my friend at work we um use our vacation time for the afternoon one day a year and it does on a super nice early summer day and then we go and we have beers outside at this little beer garden uh, locally and so we were at lunch and i'm like this is like the third day like that i've asked because like we've had like torrential down downpours like all this entire year it's been awful and so it's like been the third time i've been like okay it's nice today can you go today and usually it's like no i have a meeting with blah 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 and i'm like okay fine so but today she's like i have to go cover for someone's lunch and i'm like what about after that she's like after that i could and i'm like oh, what time is that she's like two so two o'clock we're like we're going at 2 o'clock and then we were with lunch though but we were with like a group and they were like oh you guys have fun that'd be fun I'm like you guys can come too they're like yay <laughs> <laughs> it ended up being like seven of us like hanging out and it was so much fun like uh, we all were able to get permission to go and everything it was fantastic so um, so I posted on my Instagram like we were all at these picnic tables hanging out and uh so I thought for sure you saw that and were like, is it a bad night? I'm like, <laughs> I can't cancel on him because I'm hanging out. So, yeah. You could I'm have. I'm here. It would have been I one of those it. like, mm, we can fight another yeah. night. <laughs> it was fun. But we yeah. wouldn't. We would just do a show on Monday. Yeah, that's true. At this point. I mean, come on. I think everybody would understand, though, with the double AP. 
Double AP and Harry Potter. Like, you know, but you're a trooper and you said, no, let's like, no, do this. Let's do this. And so, so we did it and we're doing it. And mm -hmm. you know what? We're, we're having uh, our drinks we're anyway. We're doing adult so. beverages cheers. this evening. But uh, yeah, cheers. Cheers, sir. They put nitrous in this. It's weird. Anyway. What's that do? It's like uh, it's like a stout, but it makes like the really thick foam, not like the light beer foam going out of your glass. Oh. I don't know. I'm not, I don't really want the foam. This is Do good tasting foam? creamy foam, though. I want the foam. Should I oh. say that? It's moist and creamy. Like, yeah, sure. There's some people who hate those words. Yeah, I guess. Moist. Oh, moist is good. Like. Do you want dry cake? You don't want dry cake. You want moist cake. <laughs> Maybe it's a southern thing. Moist like, has a place, like man. With the heat and the moisture here, people what hate moist is. stuff. We like moist cakes. You no one likes hate pasty. Moist but... air. Pasty? Yeah, like when someone's just plastered to that. That's gross. Like hot humidity. <laughs> I don't know. It's pasty. Anyway. Because I'm moist. Yeah. <laughs> no, that sounds bad. Okay, yeah. so I did want to give a shout out for the website. Uh, Mick Webtree sent me, it's a new listener to the show who was on the website and found a couple bugs and issues. Sent them to me and I've kind of corrected as much as I had time for this week. And I'll get to the rest later. And I, he got the badge. There's a bug finder badge on the Did you give it to me site. too? Because I found bugs too. I'm sure I did. If I didn't, let me know, and that's a bug. And I will let you know. Get it. Post haste. You know what? I'll have Mick Webtree let you know. <laughs> Send him a message. Hey, can you let yeah. Agent Guna go? Hey, he didn't give me my badge. Mm. Tell him. Okay. I love that other people are on the website and checking things out and noticing stuff and like letting you know because then it doesn't make me be the bad guy all the time. Right. <laughs> Brent. Right. Like uh, it's Brent. screwed up again, Brent. Thanks. Yeah, I may be moving the site soon to a faster right. host. It seems to be doing okay, but I don't know. We'll it see. has its days, though, when it gets really busy. Like, if we do actually, like, sometimes you'll run an article where we are, like, kind of breaking news on something. Yeah. And then the site goes pow. Yeah. And that's a day you kind of need it up. Exactly. So. And so those are the days... Oh, that I need to figure something out because if you're not logged in, it's fine because everything's cached and works great. But if you're logged in, it gets really slow on those days and we don't need that. So I'm looking at a different host. I may move it. Um, I just, you know, trying to do it on a cheap, on the cheap side currently, but Hey, that's life. And you know what else we've got news. So let's go ahead and get into this. If it would play son of a, Let's do that again. Sit, 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 situation report. See, I changed things up on myself. That was pretty, though. You like that? It had yeah. sound, too. I know you can't hear it, but... Can't hear it? I'll, you know what? I'll never know what that sounds like. Because you'll never listen to the show. You lived it. I lived it. I was there. It sounded a little bit like this. Sit, 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 situation report. I can hear that. Now imagine that with the video going. Like I could even do it like this. Situation report. I like it. So, but it's a timed up better. You got the one that looks like it's not timed up right, but it's no, it's it was dead nuts. Oh well, then maybe it's screwed up because <laughs> anyway. So we've got a lot of stuff to talk about today. We've got what we've mentioned already. One point nine seven five times AP. This event lasts until June 24th at 7 p.m. UTC. And this is here to celebrate the release of Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Now, maybe you can explain this to me. Okay. I swear everybody said it was going to release on Friday. They did. And then... I was at lunch, and so I've had it for, like, months, but you couldn't do anything because nothing was yeah. spawning or anything. Yeah, you're a big cheater, yeah. And it has, has nothing to do with cheating. Yeah. And anyway, at lunch, I was just checking, 
And all of a sudden, there was stuff, and I was like, oh, my God, they turned stuff on early. And so I started getting stuff, and then all of a sudden, I just noticed, like, you know, all my friends going, oh, I'm level five. And I'm like, what? So, and it got released. Yeah. Was it just a soft release, do you think? Uh, I think they just, yeah, had it all ready and let it go early. I mean, no official report on why, but um, around 11.30, I noticed someone in our local Slack uh, for Ingress say that they, oh, downloading this. Like, totally casual. Oh, downloading this. So I did, I, I went on the app store and looked. It wasn't listed anywhere, but I thought, well, if it just launched, like, if, like if it's released but not released, you know what I mean? They yeah. haven't, like, put it on the front page or anything yet. Then um, I did a search, and it was, like, down there in the list. It finally came up, like, and I was like, Bam! Download, and it was there. Uh. And so I ran. And I told my friend, and she's like, "Okay, how do I play?" And I'm like, "Literally, <laughs> it just long. I have no idea." <laughs> you should already have the strats, the guide, I the website, know. and the Twitter. <laughs> Nobody knows. I mean, <laughs> um, and it was pouring <laughs> rain, and it was pouring rain. So I mean, day, it's snowing up there all evening that day. Yeah, Thursday, and I'm like. This is awful, and I have a broken toe, which isn't a big deal, but it's inconvenient. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just like, okay, my feet are soggy and hurt. That's that's the worst time to go walking around a lot. To is figure it this the outside out. one? Huh? Is it the outside one? Yeah, it's just a pinky. So it's just like a pinky. Just cut that one off. Yeah, no one really needs off. that one. No big deal. No one needs that. <laughs> um, so I was just like, this is the worst day, like locally around here to launch. And, uh, but I still went out and tried to do stuff and it was interesting trying to figure it all out and, um, see what the differences were between Ingress and Pokemon Go and Harry Potter. And I like that they're not, and now I, I've had a few people say, it looks like po- Pokemon Go. It's like, it does look like Pokemon Go. <laughs> Uh, because it is a, you know, like, there is a genre of GPS mobile games, and they all tend, like, if you look at Ghostbusters or anything like that, like, the whole genre tends to have a similar look and play style overall, yeah. but once you start playing the game, they're all very different, yeah. and we all play them for different reasons, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't call this just a Harry Potter skin, like, I've seen people say that, and yeah. it's not, like, there's definitely some depth so, and and um, yeah, there's a lot more depth and story, I think, to it compared to Pokemon Go. Well, I you, wouldn't. I mean, Pokemon Go has depth too, but it, it's just yeah. I guess different. I don't play Pokemon Go enough to yeah to make that categorization. But yeah, uh, yeah. Play what you like, people. Go out, try it, get involved in it, and and play what you like. And you know what is awesome? It, when like for me. I have people who are trying to level up, and I'm, but I'm taking walks with them around uh, an area where there's a lot of stuff going on, but I'm trying not to take all of those portals in ingress, like, which is really hard to do when I'm really trying to like level, <laughs> but they need to level. I need It, it benefits me if they level, <laughs> so right. let, trying to like them get all like the resonator deployment and everything, so it's like, I need something else to do anyway. Um, and I can play Pokemon Go or I can play Harry Potter, but that's it's nice. Yeah. It's nice. I I think I'm gonna use it as a gateway drug to get some of my coworkers to play Ingress. All right, all right, I can see that. Because I know there's a few of them that are kind of interested just because it's Harry Potter, and I think once they get the whole going out and doing stuff that way, it may be easier to be like. Ingress is the same thing, but there's a little bit more strategy to it. It's more of a mm, team. So you don't want to insult people. That's what I found it, personally. Yeah. You don't want to say like this is more. This, this for, is more you know, like Ingress is more is like for check smarter people chess, than you. Like you know what I mean. <laughs> where Harry Potter and Pokemon Go are, no. is like checkers. No, well, that would not be a fair that, comparison. And that's not true at all. It's um, but the teams. What I, w- uh, the what I would say community. is, hey. You know Harry Potter, how like there's inns and greenhouses and fortresses? Do you want more of those? You can make more of those. <laughs> Let me show you how. Right. <laughs> you want one near your house? You Let want one here you. in our office? 
Oh, Which you're going to want to be able to do it yourself. I yeah. No, I'm too busy. I can't come to your house and do this for you. You're going to want to do this. I did have another portal denied at work. Oh, is it stupid like that library you tried to do? The library might have been stupid, but it was a legit portal. <laughs> this one was, I think, legit too, but... Did the library go? No, the library's still there. No, but I mean, did it become a portal oh no 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 ah. <laughs> not at all i have no. faith in the system <laughs> i i wouldn't have like okayed it either if i didn't know what it was but knowing what it is like i mean that library needs to go too but it is there and it is anyway, uh, anyway. so i i think until i can convince work to build a gazebo i think i'm just sol Gazebos are expensive. Try for a pavilion. Yeah. Just a pavilion over, like, you have a picnic table? You yeah, just need... with a grill next to it. I okay, tried to all... submit that, didn't go. All you need, that won't work. You need a roof. So all you need is four legs and a roof. Call it a pavilion. You need something you can top. raise. I mean, obviously, put it over the picnic table, not over the barbecue so you don't burn it down the first time you try and use it. <laughs> right. You know, and then, then you'll have a portable, portable location. Yeah. Oh well. One day, yeah. maybe. Oh, anyway. <sighs> so go out and get your almost double AP. It's really close. Also, I don't know if you've noticed in the scanner, the XM has not been blue anymore. Well, it's been blue, but it's also been in certain places a rainbow of colors. It it looks like someone. Build fruity pebbles all over the ground, and it's beautiful. Yes, and it, it makes it easy to see, and it's colorful, and I don't know. Maybe they should just keep it. That's lovely. Keep it forever, and it was in the latest update, two point two five point two, which also had some other features such as compass. Yeah, yeah, and. They updated the submission portal criteria nomination stuff with hmm. you can use an existing photo as well as you can submit a portal now up to 25 kilometers from where you... Wait, is it kilometers? That's meters. weird, right? 25 meters, maybe. Is it kilometers? Can I just say that decision is weird? I I think people were having issues in hard to get like cell reception places so they would get crappy okay. photos. All right. And I so they're that. trying to let you like get really good photos but and then and then leave submit. the area to submit it. Yeah. But then put it in the right location. That makes sense. And I want to double check on this number here because I want to make sure that's right since I'm spewing it everywhere. Yeah. No, this is canon now. Yeah, 25 kilometers from the user's <laughs> position. Yeah. Well, I, I hope it helps in rural bad uh, re cell reception areas. Yeah. So weird. So... Yeah, and just complete dead zones, maybe, even. Hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. That'll be fun to play with. Okay, also, you can... Are they added in in-app access to support? They're going to roll it out after they make some change that may or may not log us out of the game, which I thought they already did because... Um, thought I was logged out the other day. It was really weird. I was like, why did that happen? But maybe not. Maybe that's just me. And then tons of UX and bug fixes, which we won't go into all those, but we will link to the release notes in our show notes. Posted with the Vidya. So also Andrew Krug led us into a little scoop here. The registration for Myriad will be out this week. So know, spread the it, word. It was <laughs> out this week. Right. Oh, thanks for... We get we get a scoop, and then we're like, nah, let's not do a show. 
in fairness to us, I asked him about it, and then we decided not to do the show, and then he sent in the scoop. So oh. it might have changed the decision if we had seen the We had first. known before, yeah. It's quick turnaround, yeah. though. <laughs> Yeah, because you had, you we were talking about the show and and like I had no knowledge of the scoop when we made the decision. Is what I will say. Yeah, me either. Yeah, and by then I'm sticking with it. Too late. What else I'm sticking with is Myriad registration is open, and there's also some changes to it that you may want to be aware of. There's a whole, uh, I guess, added or different process for. Uh, badging, getting your badge on site, and it's a bit of info, so I don't want to read it all, but in essence, um, agents will no longer be required to have the registration ticket scanned or to hack a single registration portal. They will just have to register um, and then perform at least 13 successful hacks of the anomaly portals during the three hour event. So mm -hmm. that's easier. Uh, before, sure. you know, you would have to make sure you got to registration and because of how anomalies happen, if you didn't get to do it on Friday night, you would have to scramble to do it Saturday before the start, which throws off other stuff. So this is great. And I think this is working towards something else we may talk about in the one of our new segments about um, going to in-app registration for the anomaly. Hmm. So that'd be cool. That could be cool. And this does not affect remote participation for rechargers and stuff like that. So what? What's that? You will still be able to get a badge with the same process. Hmm. If that happens, who knows? Uh, lastly, in SITREP, this is a big one here. So Niantic dropped the hammer on Global Plus Plus, and they're suing the largest spoofing enabler company out there currently. And we have a new story on it, which you can go read on the website, and we'll link to it. But basically, there's a company called Global Plus Plus that makes apps of their own called Pokemon Go Plus Plus and Ingress Plus Plus and Harry Potter Wizards Unite Plus Plus and I don't think they have Ghostbusters but they I think have uh, a few of the other games like uh, what was the dinosaur one uh, Jurassic, Jurassic World yeah Jurassic World and uh, a few other ones and basically it had all these extra options where you could walk to a portal <laughs> whatever portal you wanted to or teleport to them uh, keeps track of other data and things like that and they were charging I don't re they had like a Patreon set up to charge so I don't know exactly how much so people pay the cheating app instead of the real game app right playing. right right Okay. so I, I assume they made some money on it but Anyway, Niantic has actually filed a lawsuit against them to them. Uh, yeah. have them cease and desist. And hopefully, uh, you know, if they can get them in court, they might be able to get data on, you know, who's using the app since they're actually doing Patreon and things like that. I don't know if they yeah. get account info. I don't know if anyone's dumb enough to use the same emails. And yeah. ID but if they're emails. logging into their... Oh yeah, because it was still yeah yeah you're right you're right. I'm sorry. They may oh. keep track of it, and hopefully they'll be able to get a list of everyone who used it and just go banned. Oh, that would be so sweet. Which is a good like warning, right? Just Thanos them out, right? Just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, except for all of them, not just half. Or, yeah, I need to see the movie again. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. Spoilers. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Thanatos Do we have to from do Smite. Spoilers at this point for that? I mean, my gosh. <laughs> I mean, that was like a couple years ago, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's like so oh. old school. Um, <laughs> what else? So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. <sighs> yeah, wait, no. Cheaters beware. Stop your cheating. 
Yes. Okay, so that is the news and stuff, which leads us to a new segment. Only the second time in the history of this podcast that we're doing the segment. Yeah. We like to call this Sightings. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh my god. It's so intense. It's the worst bumper I've ever heard. It's the best. <laughs> no, the I like best it. Bumper but it's I've ever just heard. awful. <laughs> like I get douche chills, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of no, just kidding. So <laughs> this segment's all about the stuff we found on the new community. So you might have heard some of this if you're already on the community.ingress.com site. I haven't really had much chance to post anything over there this week, but I've read some stuff and here's what we found so far. Niantic Scott posted a few things. The first thing uh, says they're working on portal edits in Prime right now. That'll be good. Which will be, yeah. I mean, hey, this is wrong. Fix it then instead of having to go home and like remember to fill out something somewhere that you don't know where to fill it out. Or just log into Redacted and do it there. There's other ways, I guess, yeah. Yeah. I don't even know where redacted is now. I got like, what was that? I what deleted mine, so I'm just not at like if I I had that problem where I saw something that needed an edit and I'm like, eh. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I guess it'll gonna, wait. Like I'm not yeah, I'm just not gonna like if I can't do it in Prime, it's just not gonna get edited. Yeah. So. And That's also, where I'm at. also Niantic Scott posted uh about uh, painful neck issues or someone else posted about you know who here gets pains in their neck like do you get that do you ever like your neck hurting because you're playing for a long time looking I, down at your no. phone no, no. oh mine doesn't i'm not time. hardcore enough i guess oh well like when you're walking around forever just looking down at your damn phone like it kills on the neck so you gotta do like neck exercises hmm. and keep it keep it rolling roll it slow to the left roll it down Roll it to the right. I learned this from uh, Tony Horton. Some neck exercises. Good stuff. Anyway, he asked in there, well, what would you want to be able to do phoneless? Like if there were stuff you could do without having to look down at the phone. And you so, do lots of stuff without looking at your phone. You can go for a run. You can talk to your friends. In ingress. <laughs> oh, oh. Ingress things. Um, I guess. I don't know. What did they say? What were the responses? So, so most of the responses were about Pokemon Go Plus. Because in Pokemon Go, you can have the little thing where you just click the button to hack and catch stuff. So I guess if there was one like that where you could hack portals. What if they did in a, maybe a time sequence? or Like how could you glyph hack with something... With touch. Oh, you cheapen my glyph hacking. No. Touch or you audio. You have to do that. Beep, no. <laughs> beep, 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 boop, beep. No, you can get a simple hack. You cannot cheat a glyph hack. Beep, boop, beep, beep. It could be like Simon Says almost, but with tones. And it the thing could have buttons on each side. And you would have to play S Simon Says in the right order. But if you want to um, glyph hack, you can pull out your phone and look down at it and glyph hack instead. I can honestly say I don't care if they implement it because I won't use it. <laughs> right. But if people want to use it, go ahead. I, yeah. Like speech. Hack. Hey. Okay, Google. Hack. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think I set them off. Anyway. So... We'll link to we'll link to all these posts so you can go make comments on them if if you yeah so, so choose. all those ideas right and they won't know what you're saying when you say I got a Soho this, in your apply you say I want to Soho this idea and they won't know what you're talking <laughs> oh about. no they listen Niantic Scott is a weekly listener to the show oh that's cool I'm making that up oh that's cool too <laughs> <laughs> so hi hi not Niantic Scott. Thanks for listening. Well, he may. He may <laughs> yeah. be a listener. Who knows? I th I think, I'm not sure, but I think they actually have a listening party at the Niantic Labs. Oh, 
every week. And then when we cancel, yeah. it throws them all off. Yeah. And that's when the updates uh, you know take an extra is, week. What's so sad is picturing Monday night. They're all there with their little party hats on and their little little blow things <laughs> that you get at the party. And they're just waiting. And they're like, oh, no, we're not doing it tonight. And they're just like, oh. And they got to go home all sad. <laughs> ban them. No, we can't ban them. Ban them. <laughs> They're so mad at us. Uh, give them some exclusive news. They'll do the show. That's what happened. <laughs> He's like, no, they didn't do it. I guess we're not giving them anything else ever yeah. again. Ever again. Ever <laughs> again. So, In my defense, I didn't know about the exclusive news till today. So, See? That's how, how we work things here. <laughs> so he also responded to a post I made. So I made a post about how much I love Prime because there's so many posts about hating prime hate. Hate. so yeah. i wanted to get the lovers out because so that's all that's what i'm about i'm about love yeah and anyway there was some it wasn't hate but there was you know because there are legitimate issues with prime and and people posted constructively about them and niantic scott came in and basically talked about how in the U, UI update one, we'll cover a lot of things that people were talking about in it, which was uh, map view, viewability, usage of the game in mm -hmm. sunlight, uh, XM notifications, or limit notifications, like when you're recycling, you don't know if you've gone over or not. They're working on that. That one, I, yeah. That one seems like a no-brainer to fix. I totally agree. And then he continued on in another thread about how the devs have found uh, issues with the hack output notifications, like we are talking about how they cover up everything, and and they're looking at a uh, possibility to where you wouldn't need to tap them uh, for the box to disappear. But I think I think we're pushing for like, hey, can we just not have the box or I don't even care. move yeah. the box? Like maybe you could let us set where the box goes if we have to have it at all. Or, yeah, opt out of the box. Because, like, I'll just look later. It's fine. Think outside the box. Yeah. Just no box. It's no a weird box. concept. But. Get rid of the box. Andrew Krug also commented on a, uh, a few times on one of the posts about on-site anomaly registration process. And he said that the goal is to develop an in-app streamlined registration process and also confirmed that the rem remote registration badging process had not changed so that's good and confirms our news story so, yeah yes. all right also Andrew crew commented on a post about wind trading because there's been a lot of comments about the TOS basically changing and removing any thing pointing to wind trading used to it was explicitly in there and now it's gone and andrew brought out a statement that he made in the february ama that uh, basically official events such as first saturdays and l1331 events mission days glyph challenges and anomalies are not considered wind trading at all and he went on to say that even if like a group of local cross-faction agents posted publicly that they were going to have a meetup somewhere in a bar that he wouldn't consider that cheating or wind trading either. Basically, it comes down to if you're doing it like privately and working it out together, like how to level up, if you're uh, bringing down fields together uh, and not for like art or something you know, just taking out a big field that that would be considered cheating. I did think it was kind of odd. The wording was more of you could be reported for cheating and not if you are reported for cheating, you could get banned. So I, it's still a actually, unclear if they're looking at that. Yeah, this is the, uh, like mud. Like I, yeah. I'm more confused now than I was before. So, right. Okay. It's like the whole IITC thing, right? So, it's like they won't say anything about it, but they'll say if you basically if you make us say something about it, you're not going to like it, which kind of yeah. hits it. Yes, it's cheating or we can't say it's not cheating because of whatever reasons, but it's just just make the rules clear, make them clear. Yeah. Because we, we reported on last week, I guess, about how a lot of people were banned for 
uh, basically suspected backpack accounts, and there was another uh, suspension way for uh, using online utilities where a lot of people had used them early on uh, for account accreditation. Like, purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so people knew that like they were this or that level, and then later on the thing added in more features, and people weren't even using the site, but because however Niantic found out their names were in there, they got suspended, things like that. Mm. And I'm sure some of them were still using... But anyway, um, it's just like this lawsuit against global great step puts out the word the other stuff let's clear up the mud clean it up somehow let us know how so so we're gonna do a cross-faction bar event um i almost accidentally did one today i guess now i'm like now i don't know uh, if i was cheating because <laughs> well no you did it publicly you should have said no, come I on didn't. in because it was just me and my friends hanging out, but we all happened to play Ingress. Well, we and all were on the same portals there, so we were playing yeah. Ingress. And then uh, a blue player drove by and was blowing it up. Not, I, I don't know if he knew we were there or not, because I don't know how he would know we were there. But he's just blowing up portals, and so then we started recharging. But like, technically, that would be a private event because we didn't invite other blue people. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, but it like, wasn't cross faction. Was yeah, because he's right. blue and we're green. Well, but he wasn't there. He was just trying to blow stuff up. But he was there. He was at the party. Well, no, no, but he was yeah. physically there. Yeah, no, that's fine. I think okay. it's just if you're like, hey. But then, how do you prove that? Like, yeah. so then, yeah, that's what can. I'm saying, though. Like, so if this person had come in and hung out and kept trying to blow it up while we were sitting there, then that's No, not it's okay? it's if y'all were sitting there, hey, you blow up this portal and then we'll, well like yeah, you know, we'll put stuff on it and then you blow it up again and then you start putting right. stuff on it and we'll but you that's could see, where like, it's from yeah. the gameplay you wouldn't be able to tell that. Right. But that occurred. Yeah. Not yeah. Not in like Yes, proof. And I think that's probably why they took it out, right? Because it's so hard to prove. and Yeah. It's like... <sighs> I've been in amazingly beneficial battles before. <laughs> like, it's good for their a level advancement. It's good for my level yeah. advancement. It's like, let's keep doing this till we're out of gear. Uh, but you don't say it because you're not... Like, in every situation I've ever battled somebody, like, the person was not, like someone i was talking to ever so yeah um you know you're just kind of battling it out and it's just like this is awesome yeah it's well fun. okay so here's here's an incident that happened this was a few months ago you can tell me if i was colluding by accident i was out um there were some big blue fields that got thrown over my house mm -hmm. and so i went to go take them down and when i started taking them down all suddenly Aegis started popping up on these portals and I was like oh Ooh. crap he's he's here yeah and uh, so you know I continue to take him down well he pulls up next to me in his car and you know starts like I won't say crying or whining I hate using those terms but he that's not nice it isn't I'm sorry it's it's so the stout he addressing it's the, the stout issue. he and he basically asked me, hey, can you please not kill this portal so I can I finish this field and then oh you can God. blow it all up? And I'm just like, <sighs> like, that's the game, buddy. It is. But there's like when you're trying to like bridge that gap somewhat, it's like. Like, I don't know. It's just like, oh, man. Like, because I'm sitting there, like, just wanting to just blow it up, just flip it, and be like, it's Screw hard you. when you. But I didn't. He, the, well, the hard part is, like, yeah, it's hard when he, ex when he makes that m moment happen where he explicitly Please. asks you to leave it and then lets you blow it up. That's the part where it gets murky. Yeah. As to and I actually left. Was like, okay. I was like. I was like, this isn't going to hit checkpoint. So I left. 
And then I came back later on before Checkpoint and blew the crap out of it. But, yeah. But I see, like... But I still, you know... Mm-hmm. It's just like, it, I, I'm honestly, a nice you guy, were, you know? It's yeah, like, I know. But see, also, too, he kept throwing down Aegis shields, and you were blowing those up. You destroying their supply of Aegis shields was not getting you the experience, but it was good for your team to get those out yeah. of the community. You know what I mean? So, like, even though you weren't getting personally that that, you know, experience for blowing up the field... You were doing a long-term benefit by getting that supply of shields out of your gameplay area. Hey, thanks for making me feel team. better. Yeah. Uh, Didn't I? No, no you did. You did. Okay. You, you put a good spin on uh, my pathetic story. <laughs> it's my pathetic no, story. It happens to everybody, I think. So, but um, is that collusion? Like, is that cheating? Like... <sighs> I think he shouldn't yeah. have asked you that. Right? Yeah. Like... Because obviously you knew he was trying to make a field. Obviously, oh, you were not wanting well, to Well, I thought he was gone at first. <laughs> oh. Like, yeah. I didn't, you know... So, I, I was blowing it up because I was... It's, it was covering my house and... Yeah. Uh, it was pretty big. And I didn't want to have to deal with it later. So, I don't know. I don't know. But then, too, like, I think about... I have friends who live in, like, some rural areas and they're trying to play and level up. And they have people, like, descend upon them and they can't get any fields up at all because the enemy population is so thick that they get descended upon so fast they can't get anything done. And it's like, seeing that that moment where you have a field up, it... It makes the difference of you, you know, continuing with the game or not sometimes. Yeah. Because if you really can't get anything done, it's a lot easier to be like, okay, I'm out of here. Um, you need some some success. But yeah. did, I don't know, like, there's, there's, I don't know, that's a tricky question. Like, you don't want to be a jerk, but also, too, like, you're, that the game is that you don't let people have fields, so... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is there. I go with uh, if it doesn't affect checkpoint, it's um. That's I I would say that that's know. not what the terms of service says. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not, not like yeah. cheating wise, but that's like where like if he'd been like, hey, can you leave this up past checkpoint? It'd be like, um, no, because nope. that <laughs> affects everybody in the cell. That's totally you know? not fair to your teammates. Yeah, who are working really hard. Yeah. So, you know, throw your field. Anyway. Um, yeah, don't, I don't know. Don't ask me. How about that? Don't ask people to do that. It puts everyone in a bad position, and it's it's bad. Yeah, because yeah. you, you make me a jerk either way. If you want to work a church, me, you or I'm a jerk to my green. team. <laughs> right. No, stay, stay blue. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, that's sightings, but we do have Mm -hmm. a new bumper. This is sent in from JBJ Blaze. Let's hear it. It's over. That's uh, what's in the capsule, the awesome. redacted version. Thank you, JBJ Blaze, for sending that in. We have a few things this week. I want to start off with one that's not in the dock. So, this is top ten reasons to go to Madison Myriad Anomaly, and this was sent in by the um, the Myriad. Um, uh, uh, team for up there in Madison. So here we go. Uh, number one. No. Number 10. We'll start with 10, right? Yeah. We count down. Yeah, yeah. Right. 10. Make a difference. Midwest Smurfs, play hard. We need you to play hard for us and win. I think this is, uh, I think we can see this is uh, maybe bent towards one side. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, number nine, go ruck with your friends. Choose from stealth and operation clear field. Eight, drink our beer, eat our cheese, enjoy. Y'all have good cheese up there. You're, you're near there, kind of, sort of. Yeah. You're north adjacent to there. East. Oh, anyway. wait. Yeah, Madison, Wisconsin. Wisconsin is cheese. Yeah, that's a cheese thing. Seven, spend time in nature with the convenience of an urban area. Hmm. Number six, uh, there's an awesome official e hotel with only $129 rooms. Isn't that great? Free parking, Not free breakfast, free Wi-Fi. Can't beat that. Not a bad deal. I think if I was resistance, I'd have to go try to get a deal over there in that room. Uh, number five, camp with your ingress friends in the tent city. Uh, Do they have bears there? Yeah, of course. I'm not in a tent with bears. I have no clue. Like, because a tent is like a like a final sheet, pretty much, right? <laughs> yeah, and so they have mega buses there too, right? I don't know what's a mega bus. I don't know. Ask resistance. Okay. No, that's. resistance joke kind of okay uh let's see flat city with a fun play box that's number four uh means that people with all levels of ability can participate so mm -hmm. uh, flat lands is good for anomalies you can walk everybody around. Yeah. yeah uh attend enl group outings where you can experience madison with all your friends that's definitely a good one and number two Ingress family reunion. See old friends and meet new friends. New to Ingress or anomalies. Come join the family. And, you know, even some x fac love now that, you know, it's not wind trading. Just go back and forth and get some AP. Yeah. That's what that's what Andrew said. Anomalies. Oh, it's so confusing. Yeah, yeah. So. And then number one. Win the anomaly for the enlightened. Enlightened. That's top ten reasons to go to. Unless Madison you're Marion. resistance, then you, that wouldn't be a very good reason. Yeah. It's not collusion. That they is can, the top ten reason that. for enlightened players to go to That's Madison. right. right. Yeah. So, anyway, good. thanks for sending that in. And uh, I hope everybody goes and has fun. I'm not sure. I'll, I, I don't think I'll be able to go this time. It's looking probably not. Mm. So, I'll when have does that to happen? watch the stream. When does that occur? Uh, why do you always ask the hard questions? That's in uh, July... July 20... Uh, 27th? Is that right? Okay. That sounds right. July 27th. There we go. Yeah, sadly I'll be unavailable as well. Maybe we could just do a live coverage, but like locally, you know, kind of like what I was doing, but yeah, like maybe with power. Yeah, that'd be fun. I'd and be the going on the scene, but and the registration is open for stealth ops now. They're kind of adding things as they uh, are are available. So there's some stuff that's not available, like the physical merchandise or the T-shirts. At least this is for the uh, Madison Myriad one. You'll have to go check each individual one. I'm not going to report on all of them. Cause that would take a while. But also Operation Clearfield and Mission Day, you have to register separate for a lot of those events. So be sure to go ahead and do it now if it's available or check your location to see if those extra things are available because some of them do run out some of them do have limited amount of spaces and go support your your um, anomaly groups like swag shops and on both sides go support them uh, all, everybody who's who's working there to make a great after party and just the whole event itself for you they do a crap ton of work that you don't really see or know or appreciate until you do see it like and then you go oh my god they do all this and they're not getting paid by Ni Niantic, of course, and they're not getting paid by anyone because all that money that they make off the swag and stuff goes to help you have a good time and no one else all gets paid. All of the paid. expenses. Yeah. yeah. The massive, massive expenses. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, and it's just people who are just devoted to the love of this game. It's very amazing that that even happens. Um, also, too, 10:17 uh, p.m. in our chat uh, said that he did check personally check the campgrounds in Medicine, and there are no bears at the campground <laughs> at all. Awesome. So, so Zelly Belly's going I, to I camp. Could, I could totally get on board with some camping then. I, I do enjoy tent camping with zero wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> Does that include mosquitoes? Y'all don't have mosquitoes up there, do y'all? Up north? Yeah, we have mosquitoes. We have uh -huh. we, our area is basically like living in a swamp. There's so many mosquitoes. <laughs> but like for a month and then they all die from the frigid cold. Yeah, but this what is a what a right? southerner thinks. I know. No, we have <laughs> mosquitoes from, from spring till till snow. But see, you're just saying, like, two months there. That's like two months, right? Spring to snow? That's... No. no. We only have, like, <laughs> we, I'd say, I don't know, we only have a couple months of, like, really intolerable cold. Okay. But there's snow the whole time, right? No. Like, I see snow once every ten years down here. <laughs> I love snow. I would be I sad too. if I didn't see snow that much, like... As often as I do, it is sad. We bought two sleds, like just the cheap plastic no, things. That... No sleds. Oh, oh like so up sleds. north when you say sled, that's like a snowmobile. Huh? Snowmobile, yeah. No. no, this is a plastic an Arctic cat. <laughs> piece of plastic that you put on the snow and slide on. Yeah, I'm familiar with those. Those are fun. <laughs> Kids love them. Uh, yeah, they've been sitting. Oh behind our couches for five years now and why they do you have not keep been them there used. like on the ready in case the snow comes you out. never know it <laughs> might know, happen kid. like that here we oh, have snow hilarious. and tornadoes blink of an eye you just never know i get the tornadoes we get the tornadoes and we actually do get snow in the blink of an eye as well it just sticks around longer <laughs> yeah we don't get snow in the blink of an eye oh. we get the threat of snow and it shuts down schools it gets we too get cold. That too. Yeah, that happens here too. That I happens. feel like there though it gets like, oh, it's going to be negative thirty tomorrow. Keep the kids at home, and here it's like, uh, it's going to be yeah. twenty four degrees tomorrow. <laughs> the oh, children God. might freeze to death at the bus stop, so we can't have them outside. <laughs> so it might not snow, but they'll still be dead. So right. <laughs> yeah, and then nothing, no snow to freeze them up and keep them till spring when the mosquitoes yeah. come out to well they can't suck the blood at that point but yeah i was getting rather dark and i'd rather yeah. read some of these other things um you want to start with mad gaffer oh okay um mad gaffer your podcast helped me get a better understanding of the game Big and little things, like I had no idea you could get additional keys by using the more glyph and couldn't figure out how people could collect so many and someone mentioned the more glyph during hacks in an episode and blew open the doors for a whole new way to play. Thank you and keep the episodes coming. Oh, and shout out to Zelly Belly and Soho. Woo! No, I think he said shootout. He wants a shootout between Zelly Belly and out. Soho. Does Dolly Billy and Soho it does say shootout, but I think he meant shout out. Like I, I, I think know. it's a shout out. Shootout might be I, fun. I hope it's a shout out. We'll have to um, do uh I've know. only ever fired a rifle. I don't know if I'd be good in a shootout. Oh, I I think you could take Soho, I'll be honest. <laughs> I've, uh but I've yeah, seen like it. that's something I kinda wanted after like I don't know. Sometimes we're talking after we're done podcasting and um, we'll kind of share little tips and stuff. And like in prime, sometimes when you go to glyph hack, it just freezes there and like, you'll do the more keys or less keys or simpler and it freezes and you're waiting and waiting. And then, but if you X out, it counts as one of your glyph hack. It was one of your hacks. And especially if you only get four in four hours, if you don't have any like, you know, multi hack mods on it, that can be a problem. And I was like, well, leave it open don't shut it down and just keep whatever your request is or or if you never entered a request and it's just frozen there enter a request add in more keys or no keys whichever you prefer or simple or complex whichever you prefer uh but add one in and there are times too like i might have to add in the the more keys three to four times i pause in between um 
but then eventually it will go. Like it'll trigger and go, and then I get my glyph hack. Because especially if you have a portal that's like a, a P7 or a P8, you don't want to waste one of your glyph hacks on a simple hack. You want that bonus merge. That happened to me this week, and you told me that last week, and I did uh-huh. it, and it worked. Bam. And I was like, Zelly Belly to the Yay. rescue. Yeah, that's my one tip. I had another one, too, I thought that's of, too, good. but and then I was like, oh, I'll totally remember to say that, and I have totally forgotten it. i got to write these down when I'm, <laughs> like, the in the moment. Like, oh, yeah, I wonder if people know that. And like, i I got to write them down when I'm, when I'm uh-huh. in the field. That's good. That's good. Yeah. And yeah, we do. We need to write him down, tweet him something. Okay, Monkey Pelt says, Love the podcast. Makes my Tuesday morning fielding in Arizona heat so much more enjoyable. And I, too, want to see a shootout between Zelly Belly and Zoho. He didn't say that. I don't. That's weird. He, that's she, crazy. How did he even know he posted Monkey Pelt could be a girl. I don't know. That's true. Didn't say that. That's not written there. Right, whatever, right at it. Whatever you Don't believe. Don't you type it in. You can either believe her or believe what I'm reading right here off the well, screen. Well, I'm, I'm moving on. Red Solo Cup says, awesome podcast. Oh, that was from the thread on the community. There's a thread okay. for the show. I was show. like, you didn't just, like, text us that, right? That would be super weird. Yeah, and some of these are from there. So, okay. uh, it was just a post about, hey, there's the show. And I, I wasn't even high enough level to put links. So mm-hmm. someone else was nice enough to put links to all this stuff Ooh. in the show. So thank you. And That's Rune nice. Dig posted, said, I listened uh, to the podcast, and it has an opening call by Andrew Krug from what episode is it? And hmm. uh, I went back and looked, and it's an easy one to remember because it was episode 10. It was fairly early on in the podcast. So if you're looking for an interview with Andrew Krug and us, it is episode 10, which you can find on YouTube. It'll be in the show notes. You can find it on the website. And in Chicago, when I interviewed him for just a brief moment there, uh, he did say, hey, I need to get back on the show and um, talk to y'all again. And, and so we'll have to work that out and get Andrew back on the show. That'd be awesome. And have a shootout with Sally Billy and Soho. That's what he said. That's what Red Solo Cup said. It's weird. Yeah. So we'll have to plan that. Maybe he can come down and referee it. Uh, Honest L says, I used to watch quite a lot, but sadly I work every Monday. So I'd never be able to catch the podcast live anymore. Glad to see y'all are still around. We did this one for you. This one was for you. We moved it to Friday. Friday. Just for Uh, Honest L. We we do generally do it on Mondays, (laughs) but... um, Occasionally, like last week was Wednesday, and this week it's Friday. Sometimes real life happens. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Because <laughs> that's uh, how you talk sometimes. Yeah. Uh, so it um, it does switch up once in a while. I know that doesn't make it easy to plan, but if you catch a tweet and you subscribe on Twitch and or one of our other places and um, hit that little, you know notification bell I don't know what like every place has their own little thing where you have to subscribe but then you also have to ding this other little thing to make sure you get the email notifications for when we go live um, that'll make it easier for you to know when we go live um, subscribe to us on or follow us on Twitter we always tweet it out before we go live as well like I, like I said I know that doesn't make planning that that great but also too hey that's why we record them you can you won't be in the live chat, which I know that's fu- that's a great part of the community. I enjoy that too, but um, I don't know. At least you can be a part of the of the, the overall experience and yeah. catch it later. And Lots we'll, of people do. Most people do. Most people catch it later. And we'll probably be there in just a few more days on the next following Monday anyway. So yeah. I don't know if that helps at all. We could, we should just in the future rerun a past episode on Monday, like one of the early episodes, just in case. Like so, at least if people are there, they can chat and uh, make fun That's of us. That's a good idea. I like that. Just play said rerun then. day. Yeah. Uh, and still do one. Oh yeah, and and um, JBJ Blaze says uh, just bug me. In Telegram, we do have a Telegram channel. 
I have made it public this week, so <gasps> if spam what happens, we'll, we'll have to uh, drop it back to not public. It's just uh, whatever the TG, was it TG.me or TG.in, whatever it is, slash Agent Academy podcast. That doesn't make it easy for people to... to, to just go to our website thing. and click on the community tab. There's a link there. Okay. That's what I was going for. Like, how do people find that? Join our Telegram. You chat with us constantly. It's amazing. And I'm still waiting on one of our agents. Let's see if I have a message yet. We have an agent who has sent in a video. I'm not going to play it during the live show. It's, okay. it's it's almost 10 minutes, and there's some things in it that I want to make sure he's okay with before we, we air it. So if you don't see it, something crazy happened. Yeah, there was some... Some not okay things. Apparently. No, I guess since I didn't say who, did I say who it was? No, you didn't. So it, there's some IATC footage in there, and I don't know if if he if they mm-hmm. he or she meant to show it. And if you are going you know, to show it, and this is the area at which you were showing it, I would like to preface the video by saying we are not certain if IATC is allowed. And I don't care. I use it. So. I do not. I, You know, I say that, but I haven't used it in a long time. Like, my browser right now doesn't have it, and it's a pain. So here's another tip for you. I don't know if you need this. If you load up IATC, it's so slow because it just sits there and tries to grab the whole world's links all at one time and show you the big fields. If as soon as it starts loading up, you start zooming in, just zoom into the ocean, just as fast as you can, it'll stop loading all the other crap, and you won't have like three minutes of waiting. It, you can immediately click on your, you know, go to my location, and then zoom out to where you need to, and you're all, already there. Is that just me? You're, I don't know what you're talking about. I, not IATC. I meant Intel. Just stock Intel. Oh, for just regular Intel, I go yeah. to, um, I have it, my location saved. So I always go to that. I, I like have That's it saved. That's another and tip. I, I click on that yeah. spot so that it only loads up my little hometown and I don't get bombarded with everything. Because, yeah, it takes yeah. a million years for Intel map to load. Um, so if you forget, just zoom into the ocean. Jump into the ocean. Don't play with the whales. Still t- like it still chugs to even get to that part. So. But if you can get it real fast, you can get it uh-huh. before it like hits that That's first strange. wave. Yeah. And then it won't. So go try it. All right. Tell me how it works. And otherwise, just bookmark your wherever location. Yeah, bookmark a little location and make that the web- the link you go to all the time. Yeah, maybe they could just add in. It seems like it'd be real easy to add default to like, don't load up everything. <laughs> like, wait till, I don't know, like a load know. button or something. Pause yeah. load, don't load. I don't know. They've got other things to work the, on. I, I don't understand why default is the world. Like, that does seem ridiculous. Like, default is the world. <laughs> it looks pretty, right? Because you see on the it's fields, ridiculous, but I think maybe if they took, I don't see anything. It's just it's like a thing doesn't load. <laughs> I don't think it would be that hard if they just took snapshots every even hour. I think is fine. Oh, no, Intel the, has to be live. The world, and so when nope. you load up Intel, that's what you get, and then you can click a location that then you zoom into that location, and then it loads up data. And if you want to zoom out and see the whole world live, you can do that. But at least that's not default start. Yeah, uh, maybe. I saw that. I was looking. Ah, maybe. You gave me that Soho face. <laughs> I miss Soho. That's that's uh we got an achievement code. Okay. <laughs> I think we're there, aren't we? We're right. way past time. Yeah. We are. Let's let's get this show on the end of the road. I don't know. Now I don't know if it's right. I'm going to have to go to the website and try it out. So I think it is AA Pride Month AA. I'm going to try it right now and see. That's good. Sure. And it's a special one this month. 
Oh man, where is it? Oh no, what did I do? I clicked on the wrong thing. You I'm think I fix it in post? Uh, no, I'm not. This is all staying in. Oh wait, he said nope. So hold up a second. I'm going to tell you exactly what it is because I have admin access. But that's okay. Tell me how your day went. <laughs> Ken already told I've me. Done that. <laughs> um, yeah, I've done that so much. You got any uh, other tips? What was that tip you were talking yeah. about? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just uh, remember, we do attempt to live stream every Mondays. We uh, try to get the show on the road by Wednesdays. Um, doesn't always go according to plan, so make sure you keep up with us on Telegram and Twitter. Uh, let's see. If you are helping me fill time here, it's a good time right now to go on iTunes and leave us a review. <laughs> Five stars. Otherwise, don't bother. Like, just. I mean, why? Why, if you don't like something, would you bother going in and leaving a review? Like, it's silly. Uh, you can always call us and leave your opinion on speakpipe.com slash Agent Academy, and we'll be able to use your live voice right on the show. I won't hear it, but, you know, Brent will tell me what it says, and that'll be pretty cool, too. <laughs> I might. might not. Uh, but do join the Telegram to community. Engine. That'll be really great. Uh, we've got a nice supportive group there. Um, I, I find it funny, like, most of the Telegram, the, uh, the chatty part of our Telegram discussion group seems to be resistance players. And and they like our show, even though you and I are both enlightened players. And I, I think that's great. It's like this wonderful cross... I mean, we do have enlightened players in there as well, but we have a surprising... I don't know, like, equal show of support among the factions. And I, I love that about our um, community that we're building there. So, um, that's, uh, that's where I'm at, pal. What we got? We got for me. You fixed it? I got it. I fixed it. It's all there. <laughs> Look at me. Full in time. And that is the correct one now. Okay. But I did good, right? You did awesome. Yeah, That's great. <laughs> it's perfect. And uh, uh, you can all, we'll also be back on Instagram too. But I've been total crap about keeping up with it. Are you are you good next month or next week? I know it's coming up on a holiday. I guess the following Thursday. No, 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 no. That's a week after that. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see you next Monday at eight p.m. Central. Are we gonna do one on the twenty fourth? Or are you talking about the first? Oh. I guess that is only just a few days. What do you think? What do you want to do? Yeah. Um, we could... We could talk about it on Monday. See if we... Because you never know. Ingress is crazy. Sometimes they'll launch something and be like, no, we gotta talk about this. Yeah. So how about we play it by ear? We'll, we'll say... Maybe. 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 It'll be short... Like, what I was going to say is it's going to be short. It'll be totally short, like 15 minutes short. If we have it at all, because there really isn't much. Like, all we have to talk about is unless, really the event this yeah, weekend. Yeah, unless something happens. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't so, think about um, that. So, I wouldn't... Pl okay, here's the thing. I wouldn't plan on one for this coming Monday. There you go. That's a good way. But we, we might do a, a bonus show. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> oh. Um... Uh, Simon said to click on the on the top right of the Intel. There's like a little almost square thing that's like basically the symbol for take me to my current location, and that'll get you out of the ocean. Oh, that's always he used the tip, but he he went too far. He went a hundred thousand leagues under the sea. Hmm. Ten thousand leagues, not a hundred. I don't know how many All is of it. Them. Oh, is it? Was that the sequel? A hundred thousand leagues. First book was 10,000 leagues and then 100,000. No. Okay. So we will see you in like a week and a half. Yeah. More than likely. More than likely. Or who knows? Maybe we'll watch some Ingress animation together next Monday. We keep talking uh, about this and, and then we never, ever, ever do it. So let's do like it. Let's make it a date next Monday. We'll get some popcorn. We could do that on Monday. Yeah. Get that started. Yeah. All right. That'll definitely give us something to do. Sounds like a plan. 
We're watching Ingress Animation on Monday. Possibly. We'll plan it. Okay, y'all have a wonderful weekend. Get that double AP, and you have a wonderful weekend as well, Agent Zilly Billy. You too, Agent Cooney Guy. And I'll see you soon.